Yeah. Ooh, that's sick. Uh, well, the color. Smell cool. Like great. Yeah, that one piece. Oh, those are really nice. They look yeah, clean. you know what? I. They look way nicer with this. The detailing is a lot more subtle than I thought. It would. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'm more concerned with the, you know, the, the color. Like I think just when you take the. Uh, Hey guys, what is up? We are back with another video this beautiful Saturday morning. I hope you guys are doing good and I hope you guys are doing great. So here's the down low. We don't have time to mess around here. The Nike Mars Landing Air Max 90s are releasing today. They're not incredibly hyped up. I think they're an amazing pair of sneakers. I think they're one of the coolest pairs of sneakers to release in the last couple of years. But there's not a lot of resale value on them, which means they shouldn't be that hard to get if you put your work in, get to the lineup on time, and hop online on time. The problem is, I did none of those. I was up very late finishing a video last night, and as a result, I slept in till 10 in the morning. It's currently 10.15 a.m. right now, and I don't have my chair outside. The store opens up at 11 o'clock. Guys, if there is any such thing as good luck in this world, I need you to hit the like button right now. I really hope that we're able to get this pair of shoes. I would be so sad if we weren't. Hopefully that helps us out a little bit. Oh my goodness, if I don't get this pair of shoes, I am going to be very upset, because the Mars landing print on it, oh, freaking amazing. So I guess I should stop wasting time, because we really need to get over to livestock. So we are in line for the Mars Air Max 90s. There is a lot of people. The line goes all the way back there, which is not good news, because apparently these things are a little bit more limited than most of the shoes we get here at Livestock. It's a quick strike, so there's gonna be a very limited number of shoes that they're getting in. I need a size 12 or 13, which they don't make a lot of pairs of. This isn't looking too promising here. I hope I get them, fingers crossed, that I get them, but I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get them. All right, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is we got the shoes right here. The bad news is they're not my size. But I mean, at least we got the shoes and they are sick. The Air Max Mars Landing 90. I'm super happy I was able to get these. Now we didn't get a size 12. We did end up with a size 10 and a half. Before we check these things out, fully though and before we really get into the review, I picked up a couple other pairs of sneakers yesterday. So we're gonna take a quick little detour and check those out because I think you guys are really going to like these. I've been buying some shoes from a guy that has a huge older collection of shoes from the early 2000s. I picked up two more pairs today. I've bought three pairs of Jordan 11s from him in the past, some of them as old as 2001, and I just wanted to share my two latest pickups. This is from 2005, the 20th anniversary of Jordan brand. This is one of the most underrated colorways of a shoe that Jordan brand has ever put out, if you guys ask me. These are the Steel 10s. They're actually rumored to be coming out this year, or maybe even last year, and they just never materialized in terms of the rumors. Oh my goodness. The leather on these, the first time I'm pulling these out of the protective plastic bag, for 14 years old, once again, I mean, these things are mint condition, never tried on or anything. The leather, like this is real leather. I would love to see them retro the Jordan 10s. With the toe cap right there, I think they'll be such a cool touch on a pair of sneakers as classic as this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear these. I'm not sure if it would hold up if I tried to wear these. They are 14 years old, but once again, I got them for an amazing price. And I just can't turn down a piece of like sneaker history like this. To me, this is sneaker history right here. A pair of Jordan 10s from 2005. Now these are dope. These are really, really cool. But these ones right here, these are the heavy hitters. I just wanna give a big shout out to my man, Edwin, the son of some man, cause I know this is what he's all about. This is what he loves. This is what he loves to see. Some classic Jordan 3 white cements right here. We have the 2003 release of the Jordan 3 white cements 
it's still dead stock, never tried on, still dead stock lace. Look at that beautiful clean bottom right there. Look at that midsole. There's no chance you're wearing this without it cracking and falling apart. You can already see some deterioration on this. This is purely a display piece for me. Yes, there's no Nike Air, but it's okay. The leather on it, once again, this leather, this is like real leather. Jordan brand, you need to start doing this stuff again. It is so cool. The elephant print definitely looks different. It's a thinner print than the stuff we have today. And overall, I mean, this is just amazing. A pair of shoes that's 16 years old, Jordan 3 white cements, two nice little pickups. But guys, I know you didn't click on the video to see these. I just wanted to share them in a quick little intermission. Let's get back to the Air Max 90s. And we are back with the Air Max 90s. Let's pop these guys out of the box. I may be wrong, and to be honest, I could have just Googled this and I would have found out immediately. But since the moon landings came out so long ago, I sort of forgot, was the moon landing a lunar midsole or was it still just your typical Air Max 90 midsole? Part of me feels like it was the lunar midsole on the Air Max 90 moon landings. It would have been cool to see it on this because, I mean, it's just a more comfortable material if you ask me. I'm not sure if they really do lunar lawn on midsoles anymore or if that's an outdated technology from Nike by now. The material up top, I was very curious about this. I didn't know what to expect in pictures. Obviously, it's a one-piece mold upper. It almost feels like a fabric that you would find on car seats. If you buy a cheaper car, it sort of feels like that fabric that you would find on a car seat. So if you guys are interested about the materials, that's sort of how I describe them. They really went to town, let me tell you. They really went to town with the extras on this shoe. Like first off, the concept is amazing. They put these silver patches on the Nike Air, on the tongue as well, but then the extra laces are, mm, the extra laces are perfect choices for these. The black ones, yeah, they're cool, but these orange ones with the little silver dots in them, I. Those are so awesome. I'm 100% gonna go with those when I do track down my size 12. I bought the size 10 and a half for two reasons. One, so I have an ability to share with you guys, show you guys the shoes, give you my thoughts, and then two, at least so I have the shoe in hand that I can hopefully trade up to an 11, then maybe trade up to a 12 from there. Or who knows, maybe a 10 and a half straight to a 12. We'll see, hopefully I can get lucky getting my hands on a pair that actually fits me. I really wish I could try these things on right now because I think these things look amazing. Clearly I cannot do that though because they are too small. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I think the biggest selling point of this shoe and why there was a little bit of hype attached around this pair of shoes is that the entire upper, the entire Mars print on the upper is 100% 3M. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to capture this on video, but I'm going to turn off all the lights, close the windows, and uh, let's see if we can get this 3M to pop. All right, so it's not pitch black back here, except this is pretty much the best we can do. The 3M is really not popping that well. So you know what? I'm just going to take a quick little picture and show you guys how cool these look. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, except I think that looks pretty freaking awesome to me. That flash is absolutely amazing. Me personally, I'm gonna be trying to wear these when I'm going out at night, when I'm doing something fun in the evening, or maybe if I'm going somewhere where there's lots of lights, like a show or something like that. I don't really go to the club, so that doesn't apply too much, but uh, I'm gonna wear these where the 3M can really pop and make the most of this pair of shoes. I'm glad they didn't try and jack up the price too much. They did $160, which I get it, it's not cheap at all, except I think they easily could have slapped us with a $200 price tag and they still would have sold out. So props to Nike for not inflating the price too much on these. I get it's just a pair of Air Max 90s, but I think it is a very special pair of Air Max 90s. I really wish I could throw these on feet to show you guys how cool they look, because I've seen some amazing pictures of them on feet, and they are, wow. I am so excited to get my size 12 of these. I'm going to LA this week, in like five days I'll be in Los Angeles. Hopefully I can find a pair there at a consignment store or something. I mean, they'll probably have tons of pairs, and if I was gonna find them somewhere, it would either be LA or New York, because there's just so many sneaker stores everywhere. So fingers crossed, on that, I hope I can find a pair as soon as possible. I wanna hear from you guys though, were you able to pick these up? Let me know down in the comment section below. Did you get your pair if you decided to pass? Why did you decide to pass? Did you just not like the shoe? Do you think they were too expensive? Were they not releasing them in your area? I know they were pretty limited as far as Air Max 90s go. This is a very limited pair of Air Max 90s. That being said guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are still 
watching to this point in the video, make sure to comment Elon Musk on Mars, just to let me know that you're part of the real family that tunes in every single video and comments on every single video. As always, if you haven't joined the family yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and of course hit those notification buttons just to let me know that you guys are tuning in every single day. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. We will have an amazing video coming at you guys tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I think you guys will really enjoy that one. It's not a regular vlog. It's really a different type of video, and I think you guys are going to have so much fun watching that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and until then, peace. $150. This is from Adidas, $550 Canadian. So let's say $400 US dollars for a pair of Raph Simmons Adidas. Now, if you know anything about Raph Simmons, he can get pretty funky with the designs. He does some interesting, unique stuff. Before I open the box, I just want to warn you guys, these are absolutely horrendous 